top 2020 NFL free agents. We had to update the list because Earl Thomas is now a top free agent. I'm Mitchell Rands. That's Harrison Graham. We're going to roll through this video pretty quickly. And the first name, it's Clay Matthews. And he was a pretty good player, I think, last year. Unfortunately, got hit in the jaw. Wasn't quite the same after that. Can still, though, be a productive pass rusher. He was able to show that eight sacks last season. Yeah, more of an undersized speed guy, Mitch. I think he's best suited in a 3-4 scheme. So teams that could use an edge rusher uh, in that system, I think, make more sense for Clay Matthews. I don't know how yep. many of those opportunities are left. Obviously, the Seahawks have been linked to him because, oh, he played for Pete Carroll in college. A lot of that gets, you know, it's overrated in my opinion. But he still has value. He should be on an NFL team. He's still productive. Eight sacks last year as a rotation pass rusher. He's yeah. definitely still valuable. At number 11, Rashad Jones, and cut by the Dolphins before free agency. Obviously, he's an aging veteran who is not in his prime anymore because when he was in his prime, he was one of the best safeties in the National Football League. Injuries have really slowed him down. He missed 12 games last season due to some injuries. He's number 11 on our list, but if you're a team that's maybe trying to fill a hole at safety, I mean, the Browns just lost somebody. Maybe you don't want to spend a lot of money on Earl Thomas. Go out and get yourself a player like Rashad Jones who, you know, before the injuries was putting up some pretty solid numbers. I think this offseason is proving that a lot of teams just do not value the safety. There's a few players coming up on our list that are available at that spot where you're thinking, man, they're not on a roster. Like Seriously. Rashad Jones is one of those guys. Like You would think he's at least a fringe starter somewhere and he can't find a team right now. So we'll see if he signs. In the case of all these players, Mitch, week one's less than three weeks away. So... <laughs> you got to figure out something very, very soon, and uh, hopefully Jones can latch on with the team in 2020. You guys are looking for the latest NFL news and rumors. We want you to click that subscribe button. Also, if you like live interactive shows, subscribe to Chat Sports right now. We go live every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. And to make sure you don't miss a live show, turn on your notifications. It's the thing that looks like a big old bell. So click it, that way you never miss a show. At number 10, Tony Jefferson here, cut by the Baltimore Ravens in free agency and uh, has regressed, battled some injuries himself. But I do still believe he could step up and help out a team win. The issue Jefferson is running into, I think he's kind of entering that Eric Berry territory, Mitch, where uh, on talent alone, he'd probably be higher up on this list. But the injuries are, are, are starting to pack on, right? Like, yeah. He's banged up. Baltimore decided they couldn't bring him back because he had too many injuries that cut him loose. So, you know, he's just going to run into some issues here because he just hasn't been able to stay healthy. And I don't think teams believe he is healthy. I think that's why he's still out there. There were a lot of teams that made sense earlier on in free agency to bring him on board. They didn't do it. They went in yeah. different directions. So he's still out there. I, I saw something recently where he posted he's still working out, says he's in shape, but Everybody stays, says they're say. in shape when they're trying to <laughs> get on an NFL roster. So uh, I like Jefferson a lot. I think he has value if he's healthy. I just don't know if he's healthy. So the top three players on our list, well, actually one of them is going to be number one, but we are going to get to that in just a little bit. I'm going to make this the pinned comment on today's video because one of the three players that you see is going to be ranked number one. So for those of you that are watching this on YouTube right now, scroll on down and let us know who the best free agent is. If you think it's Logan Ryan type LR, if you think it's Earl Thomas type ET, if you think it's Jadeveon Clowney, give me a JC. At number nine, let's go to the offensive side of the football now. Delaney Walker, 38 years old, one time uh, PPR stud in terms for fantasy football. But Delaney, good blocker. Injuries though, man, killing him. Is he 38, 36, whatever it is he's old. I thought he was 36 for some reason. Either way, he, he might as well be 38 with the injuries he's had piled on in the last couple of years. I like Delaney Walker. I think as, a, as a number two tight end on a team, he's worth the gamble. I really do believe that. Uh, I mentioned uh, on our Chiefs channel, which I, I run, that uh, I think he'd be a great number two to Travis Kelsey. Could you imagine that if he, if he got healthy and was the number two there? So the one thing Delaney can do, though, is he can block. Yeah. And, you know, if you have another option like a Kelsey or somebody else who is your predominant pass-catching tight end, bring in Walker, who has worked with a lot of different tight end rooms, a lot of different tight end coaches, could, I think, really help out a younger player as well. Put him underneath your wing, and, well, Delaney, he's a pretty solid player. And I still think he could do some of that underneath stuff for you. He's not going to work the seam like he used to, but productive blocker, and I still think could be kind of like a Jason Witten type, under 10 yards, reliable third yep. down option. I think he could be that type of player. You know who didn't make the list? Antonio Brown. So we want every person watching live right now on our YouTube show to spam FAB. 
If you're not watching this live, spam FAB. And if you want an FAB t-shirt, <laughs> go to chatsports.com slash FAB shirt. They were only $23.44. Wait, $23.99. $23.99. You can get it in blue. You can get it in gray, black, and red for all different color teams. You got a lot of FABs going on. I will warn you, though. We only have a limited supply of these shirts. They will go very quick. So if you see this now and you want it, you better take advantage of it. At number eight, Devonta Freeman in our top NFL free agents left list. Wants to be a starter, wants to get paid like one, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, that ain't happening for him. If this was Devontae's list, he'd be at number one. There's no doubt about <laughs> that. That's kind of the issue, right, Mitch, is that he wants to be, not only does he want to be a starter, sure. he wants to be paid like a premier starter. Now, I don't think he's asking for $10 million, but he wants five, six, seven, eight million million, nope. and that ain't out there. I like, wouldn't even give him half of that. Yeah, I mean, to me, he's more of a rotation back at this point. Maybe he could go to a team like Tampa and start. Maybe. Maybe. But even then, they've made it pretty clear, Mitch. They're not going to pay him starting level money, which is you know four, yep. five plus million dollars per year, and that's what he wants. Drew Rosenhaus hadn't been able to get it for him. You know, we made that we made it a big deal when they hired him. That's been six weeks now. Well, I so, mean, the Seattle Seahawks at least gave him an offer, and it wasn't enough for him. And yeah. I, I personally, I think Freeman and the Seahawks would have been a pretty good and fit. I'll, and I'll continue to reiterate it for all these guys. At some point, you got to swallow your pride because the season's here. You got to yep. sign on pretty soon if you want to make money in twenty twenty. If you like Harrison, go give him a follow on Twitter. It's the blue bar you see down below, H. Graham NFL. Number seven on our list, Nigel Bradham, cut by the Saints on Monday. For those of you watching live, that's August 24th today. Above average coverage linebacker. He does need to improve in the running game. A veteran, and I'll be, just be frank, I am very surprised that the Saints moved on. I'm wondering if there's something else there. Yeah, I mean, he's only 30 years old, Mitch. It's a guy who started 96 games in his career. He hasn't really had injury problems in the past. Uh, this was a bit of a shocker. The, the Saints decided to cut him after like two weeks. They signed him a few weeks ago, and uh, then they said, uh, we'll see you later. So I, I'm not sure what's going on there. I do think he's at least like a number three linebacker on a team. Like he, He's not an all-pro by any means, but he's certainly worthy of being on an NFL roster and playing significant snaps. So we want you to shout out your favorite team in the comments section. For everyone that tweeted at Tom Downey, you continue to do it, at what going Downey, you're a woke loser. Want to give a shout out to Connor Williams and David Vilma. Tom just tweeted at us, or messaged us in our group chat here, and he's laughing. <laughs> so continue to do it. We would definitely appreciate that. So shout out your favorite NFL team. I got some Chiefs. I got some Vikings. I got a Raiders, Chiefs, all different types of players here. How about this? If you're shouting out your favorite team, name a player that your favorite team should go out and sign. So let us know who your favorite team is, and then let us know a player that they should go out and sign. I see Cardinals. I see Vikings. Obviously seeing a lot of Earl Thomas thrown in there. A Jadeveon Clowney, Logan Ryan, Ravens. Continue to shout out your favorite team and name a player that you'd want them to go out and sign. Damon Snacks Harrison is next up here on our list. If you're looking for a run stopper, he's your dude. But that's really all he got at this point. Yeah, his, his nickname is Snacks Mitch because uh, he eats a lot of them because he's about 350 pounds, and he's still good against the run game. You know, he debated whether or not he was going to opt out of this season, but I haven't seen anything on that in a couple, about of, retiring. a couple of weeks now. He, he really did not enjoy football in Detroit. That, I, I think that's really kind of turned him, him off and some teams off of him because of kind of how he played up there because there was a bit of a decline. Was that him being unhappy? or he's over 30 now and he's not the player he once was. I think he belongs on an NFL roster. I just, you know, he's not great in passing situations, and it's a passing league now. I think that's why he's unsigned. A player who's not what he once was, but we always refer to him as back in 2013, Josh Gordon. If you guys want to give me a follow on Instagram, it's the little pink bar that you see down below. I'm at Mitchell Ryan 365 Now with Gordon, you have talent. He's continued to say that he stays in shape. But he has to be reinstated, which hasn't happened yet. Yeah, th that's the number one thing, right, is a team actually cannot sign him right now. I, I guess you know, behind, to to the, behind the scenes there could be he's verbal, gonna get, he's verbal gonna get deals going on. I, and I think he'll get reinstated. But, again, you know, we're close to the season here. This There's an issue in Dallas with Randy Gregory. He can't get his thing to go through. So maybe the NFL won't reinstate him. But assuming he does – He's gonna get signed. Can you like, say you can't get your thing to go through? Is relax. that allowed? Only you would. Only you would jump to that. Conclusion. I think Brett and I were on the same page. Eh. All right. One player that I'm actually surprised is still available is Eric Reed because, well, from a talent standpoint alone, there's no reason why Eric Reed should be left left still on the free agent market. 
I'm going to say that it has a little bit more to do with some of the off the field stuff, but at the end of the day, Eric Reed is a very, very talented safety, and if you don't want to pay that upper price tag for a player like Earl Thomas, who we'll get to here in a sec, you could go out and get an Eric Reed, who I think would be a very good strong safety in the National Football League, because guess what? He's a very good strong safety in the National Football League. Two things. One, safeties aren't signing for whatever reason. We've made that clear throughout this video. Two, teams don't like uh, how vocal he is on his stances. So yeah. there's a reason it took a while for a team like Carolina to sign him. And uh, there's a reason he remains unsigned, and I think that's one of them. So we've had a debate in the comment section. We've also had a debate here in the studio, if you will. Who's the better player, Logan Ryan type LR, or if you think it's Eric Reed type ER? So we've got some LRs flowing in right now, and no surprise, I do think a lot of people will go with Logan Ryan. I would actually, I really might make the argument that I think Eric Reed's a better player. I think Eric Reed is better at, at the one position he plays, but Logan Ryan's versatility makes him stand out a little bit more. So we got an LR from Devin Nutter. I don't even know if I can say that name. ER from Nicholas. Big, big Chiefs report. Guy. Jace Carlson also type in ER. So if you're typing LR, well, guess what? He's coming up right now. At number three of our top NFL free agents left, Logan Ryan. He reportedly wants $10 million. But, yeah, that's not going to happen. And maybe even more confusing his agent's trying to push him as a safety, and you mentioned earlier, safeties aren't getting signed. That ship not has only not uh, that ship has uh, not only sailed, Mitch. As I botched my joke, it's crashed, <laughs> it's burned, it's collapsed on the reef because he ain't getting ten million dollars per year. Like I don't know if he's getting half of that. Like that's how much he overestimated his market. If you look at the raw stats, you're like man, this guy's a beast, right? He can play safety, he can play corner, lots of tackles, sacks, forced fumbles. Pass and breakups, he can interceptions. Pass. And then Name you look at movie. the advanced numbers, uh, the Tom stats, as I like to call them, uh, the coverage stats here. Uh, 70% completion percentage, most six yards touchdowns. allowed. That's not great. Now, neither tell the full story, right? He's not yeah. as good as the first graphic of stats. He's not as bad as this graphic of stats. But he's not an all pro, which is basically what his, safe, his agent's trying to spin by saying he's a safety. It's a bad move by him. He's going to have to play for cheap. Something cheap and a good move for you, an FAB t-shirt. These are good in the summer. They're good in the winter. They're good 365 days. And if you want to wear this FAB t-shirt, all you got to do is go to chatsports.com slash FAB shirt. For those of you that are watching this on our live studio right now on YouTube, you can click the pinned comment. Yeah, that was a weird <laughs> thing for me to say. But you can go to chatsports.com slash FAB shirt. Only $23.99, four different colors. It's at the pinned comment on YouTube. You can also find the link. Make sure you get one, though, because guess what? They are going to go back. Number two on our list, Earl Thomas. And one of the main reasons why we wanted to make an updated list was because the Ravens, they move on from Earl, and the debate comes down to Earl Thomas and Jadeveon Clowney. We have Earl Thomas at number two, and I put him here because of the position he plays. Will this be the last time we update our top 2020 NFL free agents list? Probably not, based on how this offseason goes. Uh, if, uh, if a guy like Earl Thomas punches another teammate, maybe we'll do this video again. But uh, look, this guy, has, he's entering Antonio Brown territory, yeah. which, which is hard to say. I don't think he's quite there FAT yet. FAT shirt, should we make him? You know, you know, people are talking. You know, Let us know, <laughs> why for yes and for no, if we should make an FE t-shirt. But uh, the way he has acted the past couple of years has not been what you want out of a veteran player punching teammates, he's, he's, he's getting in weird sexual intercourses with family members, all kinds of stuff going on. I don't know if you want Earl Thomas on your team, but he is still a really good player. Well, this is a video that we put up on the channel already, and to make sure that you don't miss any of the shows that we put out, 100% free, 365 days out of the year. Make sure you subscribe to Chat Sports so you can see videos like Earl Thomas Destinations, but also subscribe so you don't miss our live shows because our live shows is where – we really get to know our audience really well. So I see Jace Carlson. I see Chill Will, Devin Nutter. He's saying, hey, Harrison, be on the normal chat sports show more. Well, guess what? Maybe if you get more of your friends to subscribe, we can get Harrison on here more. We do go live every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Pacific. Click that big red button. Number one on our list, Jadeveon Clowney, and he's been number one on our list for quite some time. Yeah, and I still think he's a little more valuable than Thomas because, A, he doesn't have at least quite nearly the baggage. He probably has some baggage uh, with his ego. But, uh, two, getting after the quarterback and he's younger is a little bit more valuable than a safety. So that's why we still have him at number one. But like Logan Ryan, he has played his hand in his cards poorly, Mitch. He wants 17 to $20 million. 
that's not going to happen. He's probably going to have to get into that 15 or less range if he wants to be serious about playing football in 2020. You can't come off a three-sack year and want to be paid as a top-five defensive end. It's just not going to work out well for you. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I think a lot of teams could still use him, but we still have him number one on our list.